Hi, this is my VK Commodore. It's an 85 model. Um, it's up on a rotisserie, as you can see. Um, I'm going to show you how I mounted it and uh, just a few tips on people that want to either make their own rotisserie or, or buy one of these. It's an $800 eBay item from China. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just show you how I mounted it because there's not a lot of information on the net about mounting. Uh, and if you want to make your own, I can show you a couple little heights and uh, so you can make your own out of like cut up engine stands or something. So I'll show you how it rotates. It's got um, some locking pins that lock either end. lock it in, uh, this, uh, this rotisserie can pretty much lock it in angles about like that, every, about that now. So it's great for if you're wild going, painting, uh, you, you don't have to lay underneath anymore, and uh, into yourself, it's quite, it's quite dangerous laying underneath the, the car on axle stands with a, you know, with a wire wheel. Yeah, it's nice to be able to paint like this. So you can paint the roof and, and whatever else you want. So uh, I'll show you my uh, brackets that I made. Okay, with my uh, mounting, um, I pretty much just put two holes through the existing uh, rotisserie cross piece. Um, I've got a, uh, pivoting, um, a, a pivoting bracket basically because when you jack it up, uh, like when you jack it up it needs to pivot because the car pretty much goes up down like a seesaw until you get up to the right height. So it's just two, I think it's a 10 or 12 mil plate, a 12 mil flat bar. Uh, when, when you make this you just uh, cut your three pieces, put them together in the vise and drill it as one piece so your holes all line up. Uh, socket head screw, the thread only pretty much comes just past there so it's uh, spinning on the, uh, the straight um, piece, like the uh, parallel uh, piece of the uh, socket head screw. Um, yeah, so all four brackets are kind of the same. Um, when you do make make this this bracket, if you want to do it this way, um, you, you attach it onto your rotisserie first, and uh, you put a bolt through here. You just nip it up so it doesn't swivel too much. Um, then, when you put it up against your your car rail bit that you've made, um, it's square. Uh, so then it'll spin a lot better. Um, so my now I was a bit worried about how the uh, mounting, where the mounting points are on a VK Commodore. It should be the same from VB to VL, I suppose. Um, it's quite thin around the front cross member. Uh, fr fr sorry, front front chassis rail. Uh, it's it's got two. It's like a little. It's got, two thicknesses of um, uh, looks like 1.2 or something mil uh, material um, it's quite weak in this area if you want to put your, your whole car just on those four points I think this is the bumper mounting area and whatever else goes there so I didn't want it to bend or distort this so I uh, made a plate and, and also a 
rectangle bit of tubing that basically runs along at the side because I want to access all underneath so I didn't really want it underneath too much um, so I've just got some uh, small pieces that basically go to the uh, engine cross member so it locks there, there and four uh, four spots here. There's two tapped holes with some nuts and there's two uh, just clip clearance holes that you can put your bolt and nut through. Um, this way I think it's uh, a lot stronger um, so hopefully it won't twist anything and also if, when you're doing underneath uh, it'll uh, when you're doing underneath you can get access to everything except for obviously these two little spots now so I can paint all the underbody um, in this setup. Um, with the back mounting, uh, it's the same, it's got the uh, pivot piece. It's also, with the back on a, on a Commodore, uh, it's, they're not, it's not actually, this whole back area is not very strong. I'll show you the underneath first. Uh, you've got down the fuel tank side, You've got a uh, rectangle piece which is not that thick as well. Um, I think it's called a stress member, a stress chassis or something. With the uh, with the with the American cars or the older cars, um, you've got uh, two rails from front to back. Uh, they're your full chassis rails, and then you can kind of use these things. These are uh, bolt kind of. To, to that that piece and they it actually sits on your rail but then it's still going to get in the way when you paint it so I didn't actually use these bits that bits that come with it um, yeah now with the Commodore it's got a, an angle this is actually an angle piece so it's not that great to bolt to you have got some flat two flat spots so I use one of them to bolt, I've made a little uh, frame. I'll show you my frame that I made the inside the boot. Um, now, because it's not very strong mounting, there's there's only three holes, existing holes that went through the back skin uh, of the boot. Uh, there's that's a two thicknesses. Um, I've made a uh, a spacer, like a round spacer with a, a drilled hole so the there's actually a socket head screw through that um, I just countersunk that spacer so a socket head goes in there and then I just welded over the top of the socket head screw you can still get it out because there's a nut and it should just pull out um, and there's a spacer just bringing it out a bit from the from the back uh, in the middle there's uh, just some spaces so it doesn't distort anything uh, this is just like a, an angle iron piece um, and also there's a hole through here which goes into the angle uh, bit of the angle piece where the exhaust uh, shield I think goes onto and over that side that's where the um, fuel tank side is that's uh, just like that rectangle piece so it bolts one bolt there one bolt there and three bolts here um, that's just like a, another spacer um, and also I put a tack there and there but I probably didn't need to but I, I did it anyway because I can it's all um, spot welded around here this the floor boot the floor skin uh, and it's, so it's all spot welded so it's a little bit strong um, yeah so you've got the same pivoting um, piece here um, that, that's actually on an angle so that when that comes out that's on an angle and then when you mount this to this the rotisserie uh, it goes straight out and it's actually welded there's a bit of an angle there between that piece and that piece so it, it, everything's square compared to the rotisserie um, so that's pretty much how I mounted it so you got your four um, swivel joints front and back like two on either end. Uh, inside mount. I, once it's off, I'll paint the, uh, the boot. Once I've, I take the frame off. Uh, with the rotisserie, you've got your, uh, your evenly spaced holes. 
and uh, this locking pin basically will just lock in when you get into the right spot. Um, up the top here uh, is a, let me grab my, here we go, so pretty much when you jack this up you can, um, that's, that's for the front, I've got a different size nut for the back, but uh, just use your socket head, your, sorry your socket, socket set to uh, ratchet it up. It uh, has a fine adjusting uh, kind of whatever you call it, a lead screw or something uh, that you can jack, jack, adjust it. This is this is bottomed out, so that was to get the uh, it's, it's, it's all the way the screws all the way to the bottom. That's just so I can get the center of gravity right. Uh, you've also got hydraulic jack uh, that you can just pump up. Um, um, so what else is there? Uh, with the rotisserie, um, it did come with these uh, black wheels that did pop on there and you kind of turn that to adjust this screw up and down but I found uh, it just spun when there was the weight of the car, it's alright when there was no weight on the car but when there was weight on the car it just spun so I've seen other videos and everyone just yeah ratchets it up from those two points. Um, now, if you make your own, uh, if you make your own rotisserie, uh, just out of whatever you want, like uh, say car stands, uh, sorry, um, engine stands. Uh, a lot of people I've seen they cut engine stands up, and uh, it, it's it's I guess it's okay. You, you you'd probably still need your uh, cross brace because it, it, they do tend to kick out. Um, if, if you don't move it at all, it, you could probably not put the cross brace in. Um, but it is a lot safer uh, put, moving it around and and whatever. It's not putting as much uh, stress on some points if you do put your cross brace. So what you probably need to know is the uh, height from uh, to enable this to spin clear. Um, I think the height. Oh, let me get a tape measure. Where was the height? Uh, 1100. So, so from the height from the uh, bottom rail to the actual uh, spinny bit, um, that that was 1100. So if you get that that height or 11, 1200 just to be safe, uh, you'll have you have no clearance issues and it shouldn't hit your roof. Uh, mine's not an overly high roof in my garage. Um, yeah, you should be right and. The only other thing with this, uh, it hasn't got any um, locking uh, pieces on the wheels, but it's fairly heavy and I've got a flat ground so it shouldn't move anywhere. Um, phew, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, thanks for watching.